Ever wonder how to create a cover for your Amazon KDP books? In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know from the correct formatting to very useful tips and tricks so you can create amazing book covers. So let's get started. To get the perfect measurements for your book covers, first of all, you have to decide the sizing for your book and even more importantly, the sizing that Amazon KDP actually accepts on their platform. So if you have an Amazon KDP account, it's going to show you the formats available for our book sizing. Once you have chose the sizing for your book, we can move on into this page, kdp.amazon.com cover calculator. This page will give us a template completely for free of the size that we have choose. I will leave the link to this page in the description so you can also get your template completely for free. It's very important that before coming to this page, you already have decided on the following aspects, so it will be easy for you to fill them. All these details depend on what you choose, but the format that I always choose is the next one. So if you have never done it before, you can just go and follow this format. So for my cover type, I'm going to be using soft cover. For my indoor type, I'm going to be using black and white. For the kind of paper, I'm going to be using white paper. For the reading address, we're going to go and make it from left to right. For our measurement units, I'm going to go and choose inches. And for my interior print size, I'm just going to go and make 7.5 times 9.25 inches. You just have to go and add the number of pages that you're going to be adding in your book. So I'm going to make 80 pages. I'm going to click on it and now we can click in calculate dimensions. It looks like there are many numbers and it can be a bit confusing, but this is very simple. The only thing that we have to do now is go and first of all download our template. And once we have download our template, we have to go and look in the first number, the one that it says full cover. So we have to go and follow these measurements over here. So I'm going to go to my Canva homepage and over here I'm going to click in create design. Once in here, I'm going to click in custom size and we add the same numbers that we have on here. So as you can see on here, we have the width and the height. So we're going to put it exactly the same as it says on here. So as you can see, I add 1543 and 9.5 and it's exactly the same as here. And I'm also going to make sure that I leave my units on inches because it's the one that we chose before. So I'm just going to click in create new design. Once Canva create our design, you got to go to the section of uploads. And over this section, I'm going to go and click in upload files. Over here, you just got to go and find your template, the one that we just download. So once you have found your template, you're going to go and click in open. And we're just going to click over it and add it into our design. And I'm just going to go and pull it all the way till it fits my design. Now I'm going to go and lock the position. Now I'm going to start to add these borders into my design. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the element section and I'm just going to start to add some shapes. So over here, I add this shape, I'm going to place it on here and I can start to add my borders. If you cannot see because of the color, you can go to this section where it says transparency and you can make it till half. So now we have a more clear idea of where is our shape. So over there and I'm just going to go and place it all the way till it fits all my border. And I'm going to do this with the rest of my borders. So you can decide between keep these borders or just delete them later on. But they are very important to follow the right formatting requirements and avoid any issue when you want to upload your cover into Amazon KDP. Once I have finished with all the borders, what I'm going to do is click again into my template and click in unlock. I'm going to go and I'm going to delete my template. And now we can go and put back all the transparency for our borders. Once we place back the transparency for all of our borders, we can move on into the designing of our cover book. 
For today's example, I'm going to be creating a cover for a coloring book. So to begin, if we take a look in our template, we can see that in the right side it's our cover and in the left side is the back page of our cover book. So I'm going to go and follow this same structure for my design. So to start with the designing of my cover book, first of all, I'm going to be changing the color of my borders. I'm just going to go and grab one of these colors. I'm going to click and change all. And now, because I don't want my borders to move later on when I'm designing, I'm going to go click over them and I'm going to click in three dots and lock position. I'm going to start with the background. And for this, I'm just going to go to the section of elements and I'm going to look for keywords that can help me to find something to design my cover book. So I'm going to go and look for unicorn. And because I'm going to start with the background, I'm going to look for photos. And from here, I'm going to start to look for one that I like. Let's say that I like this one. So what I'm going to do is just click in these three dots and click in see more like this. So we can have more options of this same element. So I really like this one. And what I'm going to do now to add it into my background is click in the three dots and set image as background. So I already have this one as my background. Now I can come back and go to the section of graphics. And from here, I can already choose some graphics to start to add into my cover book. So I'm going to make exactly the same. Let's say I like this one. I'm going to click in see more like this. I'm just going to be adding this one over here. Also this one, I like it. So I can start to play around to see how it's going to look. So let's say that I want to add this element into my cover book. But as you can see, it doesn't fit very well. What I'm going to do, it's got to position and place it all the way to the back. So now I can add it and it's going to follow my borders, which is very important for our cover book. So now I already add all the elements that I wanted for my cover page. What I'm going to do now is go and add the text for my cover book. And to do this, I'm going to go to the section of text and over here we have two options. For the first option, you can go and choose one of the templates that Canva already have for us. So you can go and just click over it and adjust it for your title. Otherwise, you can go and add one title and then just customize it for your cover book. But I'm just going to go and add one of the templates that Canva already have because I really like them and I feel like it's easy for me. So I already have some combinations and I don't have to test them on one by one. So to add my text of here, I'm just going to be using one of these ones. So I'm going to go clicking on group and I'm going to delete this one on here because I don't really need it. And then from here, I can move it one by one. So I can go and add my text and then just pull it where I want it to be. And from here, I'm also going to be changing the color of this text because of course it doesn't really fit with this. So we can go and click in this add new color. I'm going to click in this one and I'm going to be choosing one color from my design. So I think this purple will look very nice. So that color and I'm going to make the same for the other text on here. So over here, I have to select it. Click in the A and I'm going to take the same color as I did on here. And we can even make it bigger and just make it a bit lower. So now I already have the text for my cover. In my case, because I'm doing a coloring book for my back page, I'm going to be adding some examples of my coloring pages. This is a very useful step that I would recommend you to do when you're making books for KDP, because if it's a coloring book or an activity book, it's easy for parents or kids to know what to expect inside of this book. And it makes it easy for them to buy it. So for this, you can go again to the section of uploads and from here you can upload your coloring pages. So I'm just gonna go select them and just add it over here. So I already add them over here. You also have to be mindful if we see in our template over here, we have the space for our barcode. So if you're adding your examples, they, they don't get cut because of the barcode. Once you have finished your design, we can move on into download it to upload in our Amazon KDP account. 
and to do this i'm gonna go to the square here in the corner where it says share and i'm gonna click in download over here in the file tab you have to make sure that you click in pdf to print where it says best for printing and i'm gonna click over it now i'm just gonna click in download once you have downloaded your cover book we can go and test it out in our amazon kdp account so in this section of book cover, we're going to make sure we click in the second one. Upload a cover you already have owned. And I'm going to click in Upload my cover. And once you have found your cover, you're just going to click in Open. Once you have uploaded, you can go and scroll down and go to the section of Open Preview. And over here, we can see the preview of how it's going to look our cover in our book. So if you don't have any errors in the left side, it means that you're great with your cover and you can complete the upload of your book. So as we can see, ours is perfect. And now we can go and click in approve. If you want to learn the complete process of how to create a coloring book or a storybook, I recommend you to watch the video that I have created so you can learn how to do it and start to generate some passive income. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.